Hey everyone, welcome to another quick lesson. Yesterday I had a request. Someone asked me if I could explain him a tutorial he found on the internet. And uh, basically it's about an expression. So I've created a simple, very simple example. Before we go into a practical example, I want to explain to you the expression. Now, okay, let's imagine we have a background here and a foreground. If I hit play, you can see that the exposure of the background is changing over time, while the exposure of the foreground is not. So we want to match this. If I merge them together and hit play again, you can see it doesn't match. But as soon as I turn on the color gain node, you see we have a perfect match. Okay, now this color gain node is not a magic node that does all the work for you. We are using an expression that basically links these color gain sliders to the value of this background tool. And those values here are being fed by a probe modifier which we assign to these sliders. If you go over to the modifier tab, you can see the probe settings. Now, as you might have seen in my previous quick lesson on the probes, in the image to probe slot, we drag and drop the image we want to probe from. In this case, it's this background here. So let's go to the expression here. As you can see, our background tool is named measure me. What our expression is basically saying from the measure me background tool, get the value of the red channel for every frame. This time here basically says, go to the next frame, get the values, go to the next frame, get the values, and so on and so on. Now these values then divide with, from the measure me background tool, the value of the red channel, but this time, we say from frame zero. Now, every frame, the probe gives us values, which will be divided with the value from frame zero. And what that basically does, if I turn on the waveform, let's view the foreground. Let's make some space here. And here we have the background. Let's hook our background into this new color gain tool. Now let's do what the expression does manually, just to show you what actually happens here. So if you look down here and hover over your image, you can see the RGB alpha values. Okay, in this case, let's use the green value. So the expression said, from the measure me, get the value of the green channel, which is 0 0.5415 at the current frame and divide with the green value 0 0.39209. And now watch closely what happens if I hit return. Bang. Now, as you can see, we have matched the green values. Okay, now let's move on with our practical example. This footage here is from my new upcoming tutorial, Pirate, Pirate Caps. Caps. <laughs> the whole scene is lighted and shaded in fusion. That's right. Okay, I've simulated a exposure change. Now let's say the director wants us to replace a cap. However, the new cap doesn't have the exposure change. Let's do the trick. Add a color gain node. Create a new background tool and rename it probe me. So next step, we are gonna assign a probe to our RGB sliders. Right click, modify with probe. It's always a good idea to rename your stuff so that you don't get confused. Probe Pirate. And while we're already here, 
we're gonna drag and drop the color gain node into the image to probe slot and set the probe type to rectangle. Go back to tools and let's finish the other two sliders. Right click and this time choose connect to the probe pirate green channel. Same goes for the blue channel. Okay, now we've set our connection and the probe is feeding us with the values. The only thing we have to do now is we have to try to find a good spot where we have the most accurate exposure change. Because if we scrub through time, you can see now the caps are going through the rectangle of the probe. Of course, it thinks that here the exposure is changing extremely because we have this bright skull here. So we want to avoid this area here. I would say the best area is around here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So all we have to do now is to assign the RGB gain sliders to the values that the probe provided us. Let's copy it out because we are lazy. Okay, back to the color gain, choose right click expression. We do the same for the green and the blue channel. Okay, let's paste in our expression and of course we won't forget to rename it. In this case it's probe me. And the same here. So, and we copy and paste the expression into the green and blue channel as well. But, of course, we have to change from red to green and here from red to blue. All right, now we have set up everything correctly and renamed everything correctly. If we merge everything together now and have a look, it should be perfect. And at the end, we can see here it's getting darker and here it's getting brighter looking really good so I hope I could help you out with this tutorial I try to explain it as simple as possible if you still didn't understand this expression here drop me a line and try and I try to provide you with uh, more information on that yeah so my name is Vito and I'll see you soon until then enjoy what you're doing see ya